And it's funny, when you take a studio apart and you actually like break it down to the bare bones and things are not here anymore, it's amazing how much reverb is in this room. Yeah, once the carpets left the room and the couch and all the furniture. Yeah. Now you can practice your opera in here. Oh my God, could you imagine? Yeah, I could give concerts in spaces <laughs> like this. And I think when you let go of a studio, like this is a question I guess too for creatives, is like, you know, when you don't have a space to create in, um, is that is that a bad thing? Like, is it is it good to be mobile or is it good to be tied down to a space? What's your thought on that? Do you have to have a studio to be a creative? Um, definitely not. For us, most of the time, it's been uh, a very expensive storage unit <laughs> as well as editing bay. So, like, it was wonderful yeah. to have. Like, it was wonderful to have, but it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. It's great for those late nights or middle of the day and you just spontaneously have a creative idea and you want to shoot something. You have oh, yeah. that space. You have all the gear. You could just set it up and do whatever the hell you want. Uh, it's great for all those reasons, but... At the end of the day, you don't necessarily need a studio, especially when our clients book studios 99% of the time, or we shoot on location 99% of the time. And uh, yeah, so you don't really need a studio, but it is a very lovely luxury to have. It is a lovely luxury to have. I mean, if, if we think about all the big shoots that we've done, most of them have actually not even been in this space. No. Most of them have been on location or you know, renting out a certain location for a studio or whatever else. Because as much as we love this space, it did have a lot of quirks to it. Yes, it did. <laughs> it sang to us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it haunted us. It haunted us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely some haunting stories in this building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the stairs. Oh, the stairs, the... Uh, the mailmen. Yeah. <laughs> the marketing from above. Yes. Yes. The dancing in the boardroom. Oh, with yeah. With heels on. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it was super quiet here when we first got to this. <laughs> if we go way back in time to yeah. like 2020, 2019, when we first got here, this building was dead. Yeah. It was empty. There's no one here. Peak pandemic. No one was working indoors. Everyone was at home. And it was lovely. Yeah, it was really quite nice, actually. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as the pandemic wound down and people came back to the space and now every spot in this building yeah. was taken up yeah. um, and is now taken up. I'm guessing this place will probably go and probably quickly. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice space. If you, if you don't know about the space, check out the, the Toronto Carp Factory. Yeah. For, for Studio 29, where you could maintain that, uh, I don't know, heritage of creatives. But Absolutely. No, I, yeah, it really got noisy. And one thing, too, about this place, aside from all the parties above and, and random noise from the stairs, is that there was no natural light yeah. in this studio. That was a big negative. Yeah. And that, that is one of the reasons that uh, I decided not to stay down here in this basement. That's right. It was the lack of natural light. Um, so, like, it's great for studio video, studio photography, but natural light is, uh, is a big key for happiness. I mean, we're, so we're in the basement of uh, <laughs> the Toronto Carpet Factory, um, and in many ways, when people rent commercial spaces like this, they usually start in the basement and they actually work their way up. So the companies before us have, uh, have started in this humble beginnings, and they've yeah. now opened up studios in the second, third, and fourth floors. Yeah. But as a photographer, especially you know what you do, yeah, having an open window just for that natural fill, you, you, you don't get that down here. Like no. it's, it's a great spot and it had a nice little editing bay, which was a- Yes, a the editing bonus. bay was great. But uh, being in our little bat cave down here, mm. it, uh, <laughs> it, it definitely had its drawbacks. Yeah, but. especially during interviews. Oh yeah. Yeah, the pipes would sing to us during interviews. Oh yeah, so we, we have heating <laughs> pipes that, this is the nice thing about this particular unit is that all the heating pipes went right into that corner up there. And so whenever you turn the heating on, it's a building that was built back in like, what, 18 something, 20 something, yeah, 50, God knows when. And uh, they haven't upgraded much of the uh, piping here. So two things of that. It makes lots of noise. Like there's like a tiny army of elves yes. that are bashing away at the pipes. And also when it heats up, it oh gets ridiculously gosh. hot. <laughs> yeah, there, there were, uh, I think it was last winter, I was in here in just shorts because yeah. I was sweating buckets. Yeah. Uh, it got it gets really 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 hot in the winter time like extremely hot that we had to have someone come in and insulate the pipes and even the insulation didn't help too much no uh, and then we just had it's funny because we had to use the AC in the winter time yes and in the summertime we were fine because we were in the basement it's nice and cool yeah 
<laughs> but I mean, and you know, on other notes, like this place obviously had its interesting share of hauntings, and it's oh, a man. it's a very unique building in Toronto. Yes. But uh, yeah, that first week we came in there, like our stands had gone up and down, so that was kind of yeah. fun. And you had a little run in with uh, buckets in the service yeah. elevator under the hallway that Weird. made no sense. And Weird. Elevators opening with janitor buckets in them. Yeah. No one else. Nope. And then just stays open. Yep. <laughs> or if you're like editing late at night, like doing a project oh and the mirror you had here for yeah. all the clients to check their makeup and hair. And yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes you saw a shadow walk by and it made no sense. Yeah. Or you heard or, like whispering. Or yeah. Like whispering. Also hearing like a machine factory down oh, the hall. Yeah. 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 At 11 o'clock at night. You know, just, no. and there's no machine factory at the end of the hall. There was a machine factory in the hallway, but not now. Oh, like a while ago? Oh, a long time ago. Oh, yes. Yeah. Back when it was a carpet factory? Well, it was a munitions factory. Oh, so it yes. made ammunition for World War, World War I. Then That's it made so cool. carpets and uh, various textiles. The reason why we're sitting on the floor here is to talk about our futures. Yes. Right? That's a, that's a big one. So what's coming on the horizon for Mr. Moniz in 2024? Uh, lots of shoots. I'm very excited because most of the time, the winter time is a dead stop for me in terms of shoots. I was actually planning to go down south for a month and a half. Ooh. But for some reason, which I'm totally grateful for, I'm getting booked up like crazy in February, in March, in January. So that plan for the month and a half vacation is kind of cut down to, I think, two and a half weeks now. Mm -hmm. And uh, a part of that plan is to be down in Turks because I'm shooting down in Turks and Caicos for the Andes Hotel, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to be back there. You poor um, thing. Poor thing. <laughs> Next year's looking good. Even though we don't have a studio, it uh, allows you to focus on other things. And yeah, yeah it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a fantastic year. I'm very excited for next year. And that's the ironic thing because uh, on my side of the, of the coin here, flipping that over, I am now working full time and uh, work as a lead content producer and a digital project manager for a company called Dellstrong. When you make the transition to a full time role, salary, all that kind of stuff, you, you think that your media company that you've created is trying to try to wind it down, you know, time to focus now on that salary job. And coffee shop unfortunately well well fortunately i guess has actually picked up with more work right into the new year so now i get to play the fun role of basically outsourcing projects and juggling projects and and that's one thing too is i think once you start a media company or once you start something that can gain momentum by itself yeah. it's not going to stop like no. it's going to keep on going because you've created it yes yeah. yeah as long as you keep producing fantastic work yeah Word of mouth is just going to share the good news. And fortunately, that's what happened with Coffee Shop. Yeah. Right? So we kept doing good work. And then one thing led to another. It's like, okay, I need a full-time gig right now. Mm -hmm. Well, here's more projects on your plate. When you put the effort in, the effort just keeps its compounding interest, yeah, right? So absolutely. lots of editing coming your way. Lots of editing. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I love most. I think the least favorite thing I've ever done here is probably vlogging. Oh my God, yeah. You've done a lot of vlogging here. I've done a lot of vlogging in this place. <laughs> and there have been some videos that you just can't get going. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. You've yeah. vlogged it a couple of times. Oh, yeah. It's been like... Multiple takes. Just to, <laughs> just to yeah. talk about a mic or a lens or yeah. a, a support stabilizer or something. Yeah. And it's like you can't think of the words. Yeah. And I didn't script it because I didn't have time. Yeah. You know, you just go over and over and over and over and over yeah. again. That's why vlogging is fun. It's a passion. But my God, it would not be a job for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's been plenty of times me walking in or me editing and just... <laughs> Yeah. over and over and over again that's a patience thing you know you gotta find <laughs> somebody if, if you share a studio space because yeah. that's a good idea you gotta find somebody you can work with who is patient with you and who will be understanding yeah i thank you by the way yeah of course of the your process because i mean when you share a creative space there are two creative forces that are always in tandem that's when I think I'm very grateful working with you, bud, is because it's never been like a completely different style or, no. a, or you're doing something, you're doing photos or video. I'm mean, like, oh my God, why is he here? I've never felt that. I've yeah. always been curious what you're doing. Yeah. It's, uh, That's it's awesome. Cool. Yeah. 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 We've worked around each other well, like really well. Mm -hmm. We've, our schedules, our shoots, yeah. the editing, yeah. whatever. We just, we were we very. We never had a conflict, did no, we? No, no. We just, yeah. we gelled. We yeah. gelled really well. Yeah, that's actually quite rare that you wouldn't have like a photo shoot get mixed up with a video shoot. Yeah. It was always, it always worked. Yeah. Three years of flow. 
yeah. flow. That's how we do it. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're renting it with people, make sure your creative process is efficient and fast. And I think I've learned that from you, your style. You've learned that from me and my style and like how you can make things more effective and more, more streamlined for, yep. for creating your content. Yeah. Absolutely. So even though the studio is not in play anymore, I'm yep. still going to bug you on wherever you're going to go next. Yes, absolutely. Because I'm going to rent studio space from you. Yep. I, I still have to shoot a vlog and I can't shoot a vlog at home because my condo is too small. Yep. And uh, you'll still see me again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stumbling over a camera review. Absolutely. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where you go next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, prob I'm looking for a studio for probably the second quarter of the year. So I'm excited. I'm excited. And if, if you know uh, a studio space, reach out to Eric. He's, yeah. He's looking. I'm looking. Thousand square feet, roughly. Natural light. Natural light. Yeah. Main floor or above. He's got a nice couch that's going to go in there. A nice couch yeah. that deserves a nice studio. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I think our time has come to do a cheers. Yep. And cheers. to many coffees past and to many coffees to come. Absolutely. Thanks for sticking around with Studio 29, and we will catch you later. <laughs>